Hello again, and welcome back to the SCAP online learning course on business process analysis for trade facilitation. We are now proceeding to phase three of the BPA project management method. Phase three is about identifying bottlenecks and proposing improvement recommendations. In this module, we are going to discuss some concepts and techniques about process analysis and improvement recommendations. After the ASE's business processes are captured and systematically documented and with a clear understanding, the use case diagram, actuary diagrams, process descriptions, and the list of all documentary requirements, associated laws, rules and regulations, related quantitative indicators like required cost and time, as well as the time procedure charge. This can provide the stakeholders with an overall and integrated view of the current situation and facilitate the discovery of problem areas and improvement opportunities. Let us organize this phase into two main steps. The first step, analysis of the SE's business processes. We shall discuss some techniques for analyzing the SE's processes, identifying bottlenecks or any redundancies in procedural and documentary requirements, and root causes of those issues. The second step, develop and propose improvement recommendations, approaches on how to develop and propose appropriate improvement recommendations, and also better to be business processes shall be discussed. For the first step of analyzing the as is business process, the objective of this step is to analyze and identify any bottlenecks, redundancies, or any non-value added activities in the procedural and documentary requirements of the as is business processes described in the actuary diagrams, process descriptions, and the time procedure chart. It aims at developing a set of observations related to the current business processes that have potential for improvement, such as the identification of any duplicated and redundant procedurals and documents requirements which cause delays. These steps require the active involvement of process analysis with the participation from the project sponsor, the project manager, and business domain experts. Necessary activities have to be conducted in order to analyze the SE's processes and identify any bottlenecks or possible improvement opportunities are illustrated in this figure. Using the set of actuary diagrams, process descriptions, and the integrated actuary diagram, the time procedure charge, interview notes, and relevant documents and forms that gather during the ASIS business process capturing, process analysis should attempt to identify any bottlenecks and record their observation related to the current as is business processes that have potential for improvement. Process analysis may first review the time procedure chart as it visualizes the current state of all business processes and the scope of our investigation. For example, the time procedure chart of Thailand's export process of trim as shown enable process analysis to instantly spot a bottleneck or the business process that requires extensive time to complete comparing to other business processes. In this case, the business process of hard product sample and examine takes extensively long, 14 days to complete comparing to other processes. However, the time procedure charge is not informative enough it only summarizes 
the average time required to complete each research process under scope of the study, to find out causes of delays. Process analysis need to investigate further the properties of the corresponding research processes by examining relevant activity diagrams, process descriptions, related laws, rules and regulations, and other supporting information. Other issues that process analysis may need to investigate are about the efficiency, for example, caused by any redundant or unnecessary requirements, effectiveness, for example, the amount of pre-work, and the predictability of business processes. The actuary diagram and the corresponding process description of half product sample and examine process show that it takes about 14 days to complete. The root cause analysis further indicates that the substantive delay is due to the resource constraints in terms of both laboratory technicians and facilities in the Department of Fisheries in this case. However, further root cause analysis also identifies that the government has a policy to limit the number of government officials and also budget. In some other cases, bottlenecks in the processes and documentary complexity may not be obvious. However, this does not mean that those processes do not have any bottlenecks or looms for improvement. For example, from the BPA study of rice export process in this figure, we may examine the time procedure charge and may notice that bottlenecks are hiding and improvement opportunities are not quite obvious. It is therefore important that the process analysis should go over each and every actuary diagram, process descriptions, review laws, rules and regulations, and interim notes in different angles. For an example, we may need to review each actuary diagram, its accompanying process description, relevant forms, and documents. Look for redundancies and any non-value added activities in the procedural and documentary requirements. For example, from the actuary diagram of obtaining rice export permit process as shown, you may notice that there are several redundancy in documentary requirements in this process. An exporter needs to prepare and submit a set of five documents to the Department of Foreign Trade in this case. The documentary requirements of those documents are very much identical since they are referring to the same product and the same shipment. Another case example from the actual diagram illustrated here, we could identify redundancies in both procedures and document requirements. By examining the actual diagram, describing the verifying accuracy and authenticity of exported cargo process, the rice exporter must submit two sets of similar documents to two different regulatory agencies. But then later, the custom department still need to submit some similar information to the same regulatory office, which in this case, the Office of Community Standards again, and a new agency, which is the Department of Foreign Trade. The reason of why these documents are needed to be analyzed and understood, and the rationale behind or its root cause can give the process analysis some clues on how to suggest appropriate improvement measures in the latter step. For the second step of this phase, let us discuss about developing and proposing recommendations for improvement. After identifying several bottlenecks and possible improvement opportunities, the most important step now is to develop recommendations 
that help remove bottlenecks and inefficiencies in procedural and documentary requirements in the examine visit processes. Such recommendations should also aim at enhancing transparencies in trade and border procedures in a way that does not impede trade facilitation. This step requires the participation from process analysis and business domain experts with the support from the project sponsor and the project management team. Stakeholders and activities involved in this step are illustrated in this following figure. There are some tips and techniques to provide improvement recommendations that we can discuss. Using the set of observed bottlenecks and opportunities to improve the as is business processes as an input, process analysis could develop recommendations for each bottleneck and improvement opportunity as identified. The recommendations may be accompanied by a set of actuary diagrams illustrating better to be business processes. Business process improvement can take various forms. General recommendations could cover some measures to simplify and automate some certain business processes. Generally, process analysis should look for ways for process simplification first, like simplifying or reducing some duplicative procedures, and then for process automation, like changing some manual operations into electronic transactions. General tips and techniques to provide improvement recommendations could include the following idea. Firstly, try to make the existing business processes and documentary requirements transparent and easy for stakeholders to access to. Secondly, looking for ways to merge two or more duplicated procedures into one procedure, or perhaps merge two or three similar documents into just one document or one form. Thirdly, look for ways to eliminate redundant procedures and unnecessary documentary requirements. Fourthly, Look for a way to automate some procedures and promote sharing of data, for example, data about trade and transport information among relevant stakeholders. Look for a way to eliminate or update some related laws and regulations to facilitate the operation of newly designed business processes. Or perhaps looking for a way to reform the regulatory related organizational structures. It is recommended that process analysis review several available international recommendations and standards for improvement recommendations and ideas. For example, looking into the UNC fact recommendation number 18, which is about facilitation measures related to international trade procedures. Considering the following example, the actual diagram of the as is process of verifying the accuracy and authenticity of exported cargo below illustrates redundant procedural and documentary requirements. Process analysis have also analyzed the rules and regulations governing these processes and documentation requirements with mainly for validation and statistical data collections. And since this improvement recommendation is about removing these redundancies in both procedural and documentary requirements, but still fulfilling the government's rules and regulations of data validation and statistical data collection. So the purpose to be processed is to eliminate duplication of document population into just one set instead of two physical stacks of papers 
and also reduce the duplicated procedures such that the exporter can prepare one set of documents and submit only once instead of two or three times as shown in the following figure. The second example illustrates a recommendation of simplifying, merging, and automating some procedures as shown in these figures. By examining the use case diagram for the BPA study of rice exploitation, we propose that three separate business processes or three use cases as highlighted in this figure can be merged into just one business process. Provide custom declaration, create goods through custom, and modify accuracy and authenticity of exported cargo can be firstly simplified, merged, and then automated into one streamlined process. Firstly, the provide customs declaration process shall be simplified first by changing from submitting the product quality certificate in paper-based form. The 2B process shall accept electronic information instead with just the identification number of the corresponding certificate. We can recommend to merge two separate as-is processes into one process. In this example, it means merge the clear goods to custom process and the verifying the accuracy and authenticity of exported cargo into one holistic process. The new to be actuary diagram now merges the custom current process with the validate process into one holistic process as shown in this figure. This is because custom officers have checked the final exported cargo and processed the most updated information about that shipment. For example, the accurate number of exported cargo and other necessary information. And since those information are also available in electronic forms, therefore all relevant updated information are already there in electronic format. This electronic information can then be sent to different respective agencies paperlessly. The new to be time procedure charge could illustrate this better to be business processes. The separate process of verifying accuracy and authenticity is now eliminated. Several iterations of verification and validation are really needed during this generation of recommendation for improvement. Business domain experts and process participants should help reviewing and providing their feedbacks on the proposed recommendations and actuary diagrams representing the future to be business processes. Brainstorming sessions should be conducted since several of these recommendations usually need imagination, innovation, verification, and validation for feasibility checking and refinement. Feasibility of each recommendation and the proposed to be processes should be considered. For example, checking for technical, organizational, political, and financial feasibility. The priority and impacts of these recommendations should be investigated also. So now we are concluding this module. In summary, this module discusses the most important part of a BPA project. Because we are now just not interested in capturing the current research processes related to the national trade facilitation environment, but also we would like to propose feasible improvement recommendations. So thank you for your kind attention, and I wish you the best for your BPA journey.